The most exciting moment for me in the last almost 20 years has been the first data set that we got down from the Kepler spacecraft that was science data. And we looked at this data and it just, it looked like it was computer generated. We saw the stars doing all kinds of crazy weird things. We saw clear evidence of, of transiting planets, planets crossing the face of their stars from our point of view. Uh, that's the point of the Kepler mission. And we looked at one specific star, HAP-P7b. Now this planet had been discovered the year before our mission launched. And this is a planet that's, uh, that's much bigger than, than Jupiter, circling its star, which is much bigger than our sun, every 2.2 days. And what we saw clearly in this first data was evidence of the transits of this planet crossing the face of its star, and we expected to see those. They're 1.6% deep. Uh, the transit of an Earth across a star will cause a signature that's 1% of 1%, one part in 10,000. That's much smaller. Now, the exciting thing about this light curve that we saw coming off our pipeline was that as the planet goes around the star, at one point in its orbit, it crosses behind the star. And when it did so, we actually saw a change in the light curve. We saw a bite taken out of the brightness of the star. And that was the signature of the atmosphere of this planet, which nobody had seen before in the optical up to this time. So this was very exciting. Moreover, the change in brightness of this planet going behind the star so that you could no longer see the thermal light being emitted by the planet, which itself is a very small signature, was a percent of a percent. So it was the same size of the signature of a planet the size of the Earth crossing in front of a sun-sized star. So in one fell swoop, we saw that Kepler worked. We could see planets transiting their stars, and we could also see that we had this, the sensitivity we could see that we had the sensitivity to find Earth-sized planets orbiting sun-like stars. So that really capped um, a very long development period. We've, we, I started this work in 1995, and in 2009, then we got the first data from this magnificent instrument.